Hundreds of activists have flooded into London's streets, outraged at what they say is widespread racism in the British and U.S. police forces. They earlier occupied a luxury shopping center in the city. The movement spread from the U.S. after a jury decided an officer who choked a black man to death should not face charges. Artis Harry Fear is in London for us now. Now, Harry, uh, you're there on the ground. Tell us what, what's happening there. What's the feeling like in London? Well, we've seen several hundred protesters come out in passion tonight to send their message, Black Lives Matter, at this solidarity protest. And the protest is in solidarity with those protesters in New York. All of these protesters here in the UK and those in the US are outraged by the decision not to indict uh, that American cop who was responsible for the de death of Eric Garner. Uh, so it's a solidarity protest of much passion. We've seen uh, the blocking uh, of roads here in central London. London, as you mentioned, uh, the storming of a shopping mall. The shopping mall was chosen uh, to try and maximise uh, public exposure to the British public. And speaking to bystanders uh, inside the shopping centre earlier, uh, some of them were, were particularly moved uh, by the very profound messages coming from protesters here tonight. And one of the protesters still active uh, inside this police cordon is Jumana. Why are you here tonight and what is the message you're hoping to convey? Hi. So we came out tonight to protest in solidarity with those in America protesting against the police brutality of black people, the unlawful killing of Eric Gardner, the unlawful killing of Trayvon Martin at the hands of Zimmerman, the unlawful killing of Tamir Rice, the unlawful killing of so many black people, both in America and in the UK. We're here to say that that has to stop. And what has happened as a result of our peaceful protest is that we've been kettled here by a number of police officers. We've been manhandled. One person was put in a chokehold and is now in A&E. And we have been arrested en masse, um, which is completely spurious. None of us have committed any crimes whatsoever. Um, and we've been taken off one by one to police custody, um, where we're told that we will be, be charged with violent disorder, um, which is obviously completely outrageous. All we have done here today is show our solidarity. Thank you very much for your insight here tonight, Jumana, one of the protesters. Well, there are tens of protesters still stuck inside the police court, and they are unable to leave. Uh, but the police are extracting one by one uh, those that remain at this protest here in central London tonight. Very dramatic scenes, very impassioned messages. Uh, in the words of the protest organisers, it is a time of great pain for the global black community. And these protests uh, we've seen uh, also over the last couple of weeks here in London, uh, continued impassioned messages calling out this, what they call, institutional racism in the UK and US, including on the part of the police forces. All right, Artis Harry Fear there in London. We know as this story develops, uh, you'll be staying across it there for us in London. Thanks for being with us.